What's up, Aquarius? How's it going? This is going to be, as promised, your, Merc your Mercury in retrograde reading occurring on the 23rd of August until the 14th of September. You know that we are in a super moon energy already and a new moon energy. We're approaching a second super full moon energy on the 31st in Pisces and Venus is in retrograde currently. So very intense energies existing in the readings currently and in the very near future. So you know to always take what resonates. Make sure you're watching your rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity because this intense energy exists right now. There will be messages for you in those readings. Um, this is going to be a time for you to nurture the connections that are already around you. You might have just recently met someone going, you know, diving in deeper with this person, expressing how you feel. But this is also a time for you to become more in tune with your emotions and letting go of things that do not deserve your emotions. You know, it's a time for you to get balanced within yourself, but also nurture the connections that are already existing in your life. Letting go of connections that don't belong um, receiving your energy. Okay? So let's see. I'm giving away three free love readings, Aquarius, for the month of August. So all you need to do is be a subscriber and leave a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during this month. I'll remind you at the end of the month to be checking your notifications because three people will be hearing from me. I feel like someone's missing you. Aquarius, to start off, or it's possible you're missing someone. Poverty and concern. The feeling of alone. Feeling the energy of lack. Maybe wondering when is it going to happen for you? When are you going to receive that ultimate connection? That ultimate love? But like I said, this is also a time for you to really rethink things for yourself. What makes you feel loved? How can you love yourself more, Aquarius? And letting go of what makes you feel that lack or that heartbreak or feeling alone. We'll see what comes out because there could be someone who's missing you, thinking of you. This also could be a connection within your family that you need to nurture. See what else we got. Main male. I do feel a connection coming towards you. I feel like something coming in that you're not anticipating and it's going to make you feel like you received such a blessing. Thank you, spirit. And sudden wealth. 777. Seven, seven. A card of 11. So not only do we have 777, seven, seven, but we have 111 one, one here. 3, 3. Mm, let's see what else. Spirit for Aquarius during this Mercury in retrograde. Okay. I love it. Archangel Michael showing up, protecting you. If you're feeling that poverty feeling, um, maybe for some of you, you're even going through some financial difficulty, but you're feeling alone or feeling that lack, like something's missing. Archangel Michael is right beside you during this Mercury and retrograde, during this such intense energy that you, some of you are definitely going to feel. Helping you to find that courage and that strength to get through anything that feels stressful or anxiety. For some of you, you could be feeling depression. But there's about to be a shifting of energy for you. And my lights just flickered. Some of you might be able to go replay it back and notice that they flickered. Allowing yourself and being easy on yourself to have patience. What's truly meant for you? How many times do I say this in my readings? I will continue to say it for the growth of others. What is truly meant for you? will never pass you by. 
You see how like this almost looks like the world or the universe? No matter the time, the distance, what's meant for you will be on your path. That is the miracle and the beauty of our spirit guides and the universe. Having that patient with, patience within yourself, for yourself, to heal and to find balance. Remaining positive that this blessing is coming. For some of you, you could be battling trying to get pregnant, going through infertility. Um, infertility? Yeah, IVF. My sister went through it multiple times. She, she has my niece. We consider her a miracle. Some of you could be battling that. You could find out that you're pregnant or that there is news of pregnancy around you during Mercury in retrograde. Let's see what else we get. of cups energy soulmate energy page of cups eight of wands king of swords aquarius did you go silent on someone did you retract your energy pull back there is strong water energy showing up here. You could be dealing with a water sign, um, air sign. So obviously fellow Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's someone who's about to communicate with you. Cupid's arrows have strike. It's like they're striking right here. This also could be a friend that you meet during this energy, like a, a brand new friend or a friend that you connect with or have connected with that you may be in distance from that is a soulmate of yours. We have multiple soulmates in our life, guys. But I feel two people, your energy and this water energy, knowing like you have this strong soul connection, wanting to speak together. Like, come together and have a discussion. I do. I feel a connection coming towards you, Aquarius. It's like Archangel Michael is leading you down this tough path and about to show the light for you because you've had this patience, because you've pulled yourself out of this feeling of poverty or lack and there's about to be abundance put right on your path for some of you this soulmate connection is going to happen right within your place of business or work someone that you may flirt with every day someone that you might have worked with for years and now they tell you they've always had a crush on you It's coming in very unexpected. Yeah, I feel like somebody's got feelings for you and they're about to be revealed. This person has been holding back. Guys, it could, it, for some of you, it even could be a friend that says, you know what? I'm sorry, I gotta be completely honest with you. I love you. Not only do I love you as my best friend, but I love you and I want to be with you long term. You're everything I want in a person. There is communication coming in and what they have to say is going to get, catch you completely off guard. Where you may have feel, felt like your life has been at a snail's pace or at a pause. It's about to shift in energy and take off. And like I said, in that split second, you're going to be aligned with the soulmate. All 
All right, so now I have water and fire energy here. They may have fire and water in their chart. Someone is coming in, finding you very attractive. They see long-term with you. I got to say, for some of you, you already know who this person is with the Six of Cups here. Yeah, there's been heartbreak here. But they are bringing in communication. Like I said, for some of you, there's someone missing you and they're about to tell you. They want to heal this connection with you. Definitely pay attention to feathers. 111-777-333. We have a soulmate union and they're taking a leap of faith. For those of you that your plan is not to get pregnant and, you know, for the best part of breaking up is making up, make sure you're, you know, taking control of that then. But remember, what's truly meant to happen will happen. So there's that. But yes, a complete shifting of energy for you during this Mercury and Venus in retrograde. And it's bringing in someone who knows they hurt you. I feel you're both thinking about one another and you want to heal this connection. You might have waited a while because of patience. Maybe some, maybe a year or more, multiple months. But it's divinely guided. It's coming in. Mark, Archangel Michael is overlooking this connection. You both will get through your fears and anxieties on reuniting. And at the time that main male came out, at the bottom of the deck was main female. But a lot of people don't want things back from the past. So, you know, it's like I, I try to not see the main, fe the main female, maybe brand new love coming in. And that has happened in a few readings with Mercury in retrograde. But I do, I, you already know who this person is with the Six of Cups and Temperance here. It's definitely two people coming together, one wanting to heal, missing one another, thinking about one another. But it will definitely take off in a different direction. You both are going to feel like completely abundant with this reunion. All right, let's see. We have G. T, R, they may drive a GTR, or you may have loved to watch The Fast and the Furious with them, S, I, U, A, D, N, E, B, And the rest are repeats. I'm trying to see if I see any names here. I know you probably do. Ted. All right. Let me know what you say for initials or names. Leave a heart emoji down below if you're interested in the free love readings. Anytime you want to purchase a personal reading. The link to my Etsy shop is there, and I'm sending each and every one of you so much love and light. Remember, through this energy, you're coming out on top. A lot of growth that you have done on yourself. A lot of healing and balance restored. And it's like, almost like you're shining and drawing this person towards you. You've been protected by Archangel Michael all along. Alright, so much love and light to you.